Developing tonight, a high speed police chase down the Dan Ryan into the south suburbs. That chase ended at a busy shopping mall, but the danger didn't stop there. CBS 2's Jermont Terry is live in Calumet City with a story for us tonight. Jermont. Joe, River Oaks Mall was never evacuated, but when those three men running from police ditched their vehicle and ran inside, officers did not want to take any chances. They did lock down some stores, yet somehow the men managed to still get away. The view from Chopper 2 shows canines along with officers from state police in Calumet City outside the River Oaks Mall. Investigators focused their attention around this Dodge caravan ditched at the mall entrance. They stopped the van in the front door and three boys, they run in the, the mall. Yeah, they, they, they left at the car right there. And that was an indication that you knew something wasn't right when the car was left running. Yeah, right. I see it says something, it's uh, maybe something wrong. Something was wrong. The three people who ran inside the mall moments earlier led cops on a dangerous chase. It appears the Chicago police was in pursuit. Uh, we understand there was a lot of zigzagging on the expressway at a high rate of speed. That chase started on the Dan Ryan heading south onto the Bishop Ford. And when the minivan got to 159th Street in Cal City. I didn't go eastbound towards the mall. He ran into 96 River Oak Shopping Center. And officers quickly followed, but it wasn't clear which store the men ran to. Yeah. What did you guys see, if anything? Just the police presence. That's the only thing that alerted us that something was going on. Cops surrounded every exit and gave orders to store managers. That's when they came around and said, you know, pull your gates down. Right. And we really, really thought it was going to be something temporary. And the next thing you know, that was it. Sources tell CBS2 the three men managed to slip into a department store, change outfits, and escape despite police being at every entrance. We were saying that they had to have, like, made themselves inconspicuous. But we had heard at one point that one person was caught. But all three got away and remained on the run. Now, we did reach out to Chicago police to figure out what prompted this original chase in Chicago. They did not get back to us tonight. However, Calumet City police say there's no indication that the trio had any weapons. Reporting live at River Oaks Mall in Calumet City, Jermont Terry, CBS2 News. Joe and Erica. Jermont, thank you.